chapter 15 to 16. And he answered, speaking to me, and I heard his voice. Do not fear, Enoch, a human of truth and a scribe of the truth. Come here and listen to my voice. Go and speak to the watchers of the heavens who have sent you to ask on their behalf. It is you who should be asking on behalf of the humans, and not the humans on behalf of you. Why have you forsaken the high heavens, the holy place throughout the age, and lain with the women, and defiled yourselves with the daughters of the humans, and taken women for yourselves, acting like the sons of the earth, and begotten for yourselves sons that are giants. But all of you were holy ones and living as spirits, perpetual. Yet you have defiled yourselves with the blood of the women and have given birth by the blood of flesh. And you have lusted after the blood of humans and you have produced flesh and blood, exactly as those do who die and perish. It was for this reason that I gave them females, that they might cast seed into them, and in this way begat children by them, so that descendants should never fail them upon the earth. But you were living as spirits, perpetual and immortal for all the generations of the age. And for this reason, I did not make females among you. In the heavens is the dwelling place for the spirits of the heavens. And now, the giants who were begotten by the spirits and flesh they will call them wicked spirits upon the earth, for their dwelling will be on the earth. And the spirits which will come forth from the body of their flesh are wicked spirits, for they have come into being from humans. And the origins of their creation and the origins of their foundation are from the holy watchers. They will be wicked spirits on the earth, and wicked spirits they will be called. As for the spirits of the heavens, in the heavens is their dwelling. But the spirits begotten on the earth, on the earth is their dwelling. And the vicious spirits of the giants the Nephilim act unrighteously, cause desolation, and attack and wrestle and dash to the ground and cause injuries. And they eat nothing. Instead, they abstain from food and thirst and stumble and fall. And these spirits will rise up against the sons of the humans and of the women from whom they have come forth. From the day of the time of the slaughter and destruction and death of the giants, the spirits which come forth from the soul of their flesh will continue to cause desolation uncondemned. This is how they will cause desolation until the day of the consummation of the great judgment, when the great age will be consummated. It will be consummated all at once. And now, say to the watchers who sent you to ask on their behalf, who were in the heavens, you were in the heavens, 
and there was no mystery which was not unveiled to you. And you learned a mystery which was from God. And in your hardness of heart, you made this known to the women. And through this mystery, the females and the humans are multiplying the evils upon the earth. Therefore speak to them. You have no peace. The authenticity of the rest of this chapter is uncertain, for it is only present in one Greek quotation. Now from the mountain on which they swore, and bound themselves by imprecations to the one next to him, that they would not abandon him to the age. May cold and snow and hoarfrost and dew never descend upon it, unless it comes down as a curse, until the day of the judgment, the great judgment. In that season, it will be burned down and lowered, and it will be burned down and melted like wax by a fire. This is how it will be burned down for all its works. And now, I say to you, sons of humans, there is a great anger against you, against your sons, and this anger will not cease from you until the season of the slaughter of your sons and your beloved ones will perish, and your beloved ones will die from all the earth, because all the days of their life from now on will not exceed 120 years. And do not expect to live any more years beyond that. For from now on, there is no way for them to be able to escape because of the anger which the king of all the ages is angered at with you. Do not suppose that you will escape this. <laughs>